So GoDaddy has the brand, the pricing, and the mindshare in the website industry, being one of the biggest registrars for domain names on the entire internet. But Bluehost, on the other hand, is one of the oldest and most reputable shared hosting companies on the internet. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing Bluehost with GoDaddy to help you decide what is the best choice in web hosting for you. Now in this video, I'm mainly going to be focused on WordPress hosting, so bear that in mind. And also a quick note before diving into this video, the current pricing, all right? So this changes all the time. Both of these, GoDaddy and Bluehost, they both run regular seasonal promotions. So the links in the description down below will take you to their current lowest promotion. And then it might differ from what I show you in this video because the prices change very, very frequently. And you could be watching this a couple of years down the line where the prices have increased or decreased. So bear that in mind, all right? But I would highly recommend you use the links in the description to get the best current prices and those links are also affiliate links so if you do sign up to one of these using those links i will earn a small affiliate commission at no extra cost to you so i would really appreciate it if you could use those links if you decide to sign up for godaddy or bluehost so without further ado guys let's just jump into the, vid the video and let's compare bluehost versus godaddy help you decide what is the best choice in web hosting for your particular needs so let's go all right, so I'm gonna be comparing all the most important features, in my opinion, between Bluehost and GoDaddy. So I'm gonna compare them all one by one, starting off with the uptime and speed. So let's start off with the uptime then. So Bluehost does not actually claim any particular uptime guarantee, but they do offer a significantly high uptime percentage of around 99.9%, .9%, while GoDaddy themselves actually claim to offer an uptime guarantee of 99.9%. .9%. So they both do have the same uptime guarantee. Now, no one likes their sites or blogs to be down for long, and the actual uptime performance does have a strong bearing on how satisfied you are with your website host. So GoDaddy's actual uptime percentage is less than Bluehost. That is done through a lot of different testing. And so you ought to prefer Bluehost for their very high uptime. Now the minimum server response time or page load speed is almost alike for both. They're very, very similar. However, Bluehost's maximum server response time for any site is considerably lower than that of GoDaddy's. Also, GoDaddy's customer reviews include plenty of complaints about outages and downtime. So it is clear that GoDaddy hosted websites may not be able to handle significantly high traffic with great server response time. So Bluehost is a better bet in terms of this feature. So I would give Bluehost a five star rating for their uptime and their speed. And I would give GoDaddy a four stars. Very, very close, but Bluehost does win when it comes to uptime and speed. All right, so let's talk about the user friendliness of both Bluehost and GoDaddy. Now, I will say straight away that Bluehost wins hands down again in this contest. From sign up to installing WordPress via the Bluehost control panel with literally just one click, Bluehost is not only user friendly, but it is ideal for new bloggers and new website owners to get up and running with their online presence. So like I said, I am focusing more towards uh, WordPress in this video. And yeah, Bluehost wins hands down. It is the easiest WordPress install that I have ever come across. It's literally just one click and boom, you will have WordPress installed in literally just a few seconds. But with GoDaddy, on the other hand, it's not quite so simple and it can actually take up to a few days to get WordPress installed with GoDaddy. So for the user friendliness when it comes to WordPress, again, I'm gonna give Bluehost a solid five stars and I'm actually only gonna give GoDaddy three stars when it comes to this, okay? Because yeah, that time it takes to in install WordPress, I don't understand why it's so long. I don't understand why B Bluehost can do it in one click and then GoDaddy takes a few days. I just don't understand that. So yeah, only three stars for GoDaddy here, but five stars for Bluehost. So it's another win for Bluehost. 
Let's talk about another important feature and that is the performance. So the data centers of GoDaddy and Bluehost are very, very robust and their servers are very, very powerful as well. Now Bluehost runs on AMD power centers and uses CPU segregation technology that allows it to intelligently control the CPU and protect your website against viruses and spam attacks. Now, that might go over a lot of your heads if you're a beginner to this, but just know Bluehost, they have very, very solid performance when it comes to their servers, and they're very, very safe as well. GoDaddy servers, on the other hand, run on Intel Core i7 processors, and you can choose between Windows OS or Linux OS when you sign up for their services. Now, in terms of performance, both web posts seem to be very, very similar. So I'm gonna give them both five stars. I think they're both very, very excellent when it comes to the performance. I have no complaints about either of them. So this one is going to be a draw. So let's talk about customer support, something very, very important in my opinion, because whether you're an experienced webmaster or a complete newbie, you will have some troubles eventually down the line somewhere. It's inevitable. You are going to need some support at some point. But I'm gonna say Bluehost hands down wins when it comes to their support. It's 24 seven and they are very, very responsive, very quick to reply and they are very knowledgeable. They will give you the answer you need in no time at all. However, GoDaddy on the other hand, they also have 24 seven support, but it's nowhere near as fast. I've seen a lot of reviews, a lot of people complaining that they have had to wait a long time before being replied to with GoDaddy. So in case of an emergency, then Bluehost hands down is always preferred when it comes to customer support, okay? They, they're on the ball, they're on it straight away helping you out. Now, both of them offer numerous options to contact the customer support team. And like I said, both around the clock as well, 24 seven. And you can make use of their live chat, their email, ticketing system, or their toll free telephone number for phone support. Both Bluehost and GoDaddy have excellent knowledge base sections as well on their websites for added support. Now, the support is actually great on both of these, but just because of the sheer speed of Bluehost and their responses, I'm gonna give Bluehost a five stars when it comes to customer support, and I'm gonna give GoDaddy four stars just because they're not quite as quick. The 24 seven support is just great, okay? That is essential in my opinion. You always need that 24 seven support because as we know, we're all in different places all around the world in different time zones. We need to be able to contact support whenever we have an emergency. But yeah, Bluehost takes the cake with this one. They are the winners with the five stars. Let's talk about their control panel. So both hosting providers offer the industry standard C panel as the control panel for hosting right here. So GoDaddy also offers an additional option in the form of the Parallels Plus panel as it even supports Windows hosting. Now you can install several applications required for your site with a single click on both hosting platforms. Bluehost allows you to manage multiple sites easily with access to unlimited MySQL databases, while GoDaddy offers access to limited MySQL databases with its shared hosting plans. Bluehost also offers automatic backups from its cPanel, while GoDaddy doesn't offer the same. However, both allow you to conduct manual backups at no additional cost. In terms of user interface, ease of use and flexibility on offer with the control panel. Both web posts are pretty similar and that's why I'm gonna give this one a draw just because, yeah, they both run the same C panel. Now I could give Bluehost a few extra points just because they do have uh, the unlimited MySQL databases where it's limited on GoDaddy, but I'm gonna say uh, it doesn't make a huge, huge difference, so I'm gonna give them a draw. I'm gonna give them both five stars when it comes to the control panel. Money back guarantees. Now, Bluehost does offer a money back guarantee period of 30 days for all their hosting plans with a pro-rated refund policy, before which you can decide to make a switch to any other web host 
if you are unsatisfied. Note that this money back guarantee only applies to the money spent on the hosting plans and not any other add-ons that you may have bought uh, at the point of your purchase, such as domain names or any other services that Bluehost offers you. GoDaddy, you can try out any of the hosting plans annual only for a period of 45 days before opting out. This considerably high money back guarantee period offered by GoDaddy indicates their confidence in their own services because you get those 45 days, but please take note that this is only on their annual plans. So in my opinion, GoDaddy is actually the clear winner here. However, it may not matter much in the end as even a 30 day period is long enough to judge the kind of hosting services on offer. So there's only a 15 day difference between them. Like I said, Bluehost has 30 days money back guarantee. GoDaddy has 45 days, but yeah, GoDaddy wins this round just because it is a little bit longer, but they're both very, very good. Now let's take a look, quick look at the hosting plans and the pricing comparison of both Bluehost and GoDaddy. Now, one thing I think that's important to note is you do get a free domain name with hosting plans offered by both web hosts, all right? Bluehost and GoDaddy both offer a free domain name. Now I'm not actually gonna go into too much detail about the subscription types and the pricing plans because yeah, the prices change very, very frequently and there's a lot of information in all of the different plans so we will be here forever. Now what I would recommend you do is just go to the description and click those affiliate links. Now don't forget, I will earn an affiliate commission from those. So I'd really appreciate it if you use those. It costs you no extra money at all. If anything, it's gonna give you the cheapest price possible, all right? So please be sure to use those links. Uh, yeah, please and thank you. So the cheapest price for any Bluehost hosting plan is around $2.95 per month plus the free domain name. That's for the starter shared hosting plan on a three year subscription. The lowest price for a GoDaddy hosting plan on the other hand is $3.99 per month. So a little bit pricier than Bluehost. So for the GoDaddy economy plan with a three year or two year subscription, that is the price $3.99 per month. So yeah, when it comes to the cheapest plans, then Bluehost is actually a little bit cheaper. So for beginners, that might suit you. You might be very interested in that. It only saves you a dollar a month, but it might be worth it for you guys, who knows. So with regards to the other hosting plans, especially the more premium ones, Bluehost is actually more expensive than GoDaddy. However, Bluehost also offers more comprehensive features such as unlimited email accounts, unlimited MySQL databases, free ads, and higher storage than GoDaddy. And with Bluehost, you do not have the flexibility to subscribe to any of their shared hosting plans for a short term. You can only use the one year, two year, or three year subscription options with them. GoDaddy allows you to subscribe to their shared hosting plans for shorter terms, such as for three months or even just one month. That's except for the GoDaddy economy plan. So the verdict, I guess you can tell by now that Bluehost wins overall. Bluehost is definitely the most reliable and highest performing web host, even though GoDaddy does offer a very wide range of products other than hosting services. However, if you are looking for Windows hosting specifically, then you will need to go with GoDaddy. And GoDaddy does also have a free website builder, similar to platforms like Weebly and Wix, which you might be familiar with. But Bluehost does work perfectly well and installs WordPress in one click. Do not forget that. So that is gonna be perfect for anyone anyway. You can just use WordPress as your website builder. So yeah, there we go. That is my verdict, guys. Bluehost wins overall. I would definitely recommend checking them out. I will put links to both in the description down below, both Bluehost and GoDaddy, because like I said, GoDaddy did win in a few aspects of this, and they do have the, the Windows hosting as well. So if that's something you need, then yeah, you're gonna have to go with GoDaddy. But overall, I would say Bluehost is the clear winner. 
but it all depends on your needs for your website. So it's entirely down to you in the end. But I do hope this video helped you make a decision. If it did help you, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and you're interested in more videos about making websites and things like this. I post videos very, very frequently teaching you ways to make websites, comparing different web posts, all sorts of things. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, please, and thank you. So yeah, thank you for watching this one, and I will catch you in the next video.